almost every city in the westernmost state of Gujarat has an art form native to the region and its people. And these art forms are not just restricted to metallurgy or wooden crafts, but are also cut as silhouettes and draped as patterns. Home to one such art that has charmed people for its vibrant colors is the city of Vadwan in Surendranagar district. Vadwan is an ancient city set up by the Jala king in 1660. Very soon it developed into a major center for trade and commerce. Vadwan is a known location for its old world royal charm and serene peace with a life and culture of its own. The town of Vadwan was fortified and gates were erected at the most places to provide safety. Some of these gates and the fortified walls are still found in the city, although city has grown beyond these walls. It is to be noted that the region around Vadwan has always been dry. Therefore, the population here has traditionally depended on art and craft to earn their living. Tie and dye, weaving and metal craft are the major handicrafts of this area. Tie and dye work or as locally known Bandhani was started in Vadwan by the Brahmakshatriya community and still most of the Brahmakshatriyas are involved in this business. Now the art is not restricted to a particular community and other communities are also getting involved in this business. The tie and dye work is done at many places in the state and the technique of Bandhani more or less remains the same. Garvi Gurjari Sathe Ji, our project is going on at present. We have a cluster project in 2007 and we have a very good project in 2007 and we have a very good project in 2007. यानी अंदर हमने गर्वी गुर्जरी समय समय गाइडेंस है यहाँ पे छे साथे साथे जेका एक ग्रांड थोती हुए ये रिलीज़ पन करे छे अने बहुत सरस रिते प्रोजेक्ट चाले छे। The area of fabric to be dyed is outlined lightly in the color of choice. Next, a thin sheet of clear plastic is placed on the top. This plastic has pin-sized holes over the indicated area, and the color and pattern desired is transferred onto the fabric. Pinch-sized portions of fabrics are tied together using a special thread used only for bandhanis. After an entire piece of fabric is tied together in various pinches, it is dyed colorfully. The cloth is dipped in a light color dye for the base shade. The fabric is rinsed and then it is dried, tied and dipped again in a darker color. The cloth is left alone for three to four hours as the colors soak into the desired area, allowing the fabric beneath the threaded knots to remain undyed. These pinches are then opened, leaving white and grey blocks wherever the fabric was pinched and tied together. A range of patterns including geometric, floral, abstract is made using this method, which makes white blocks stand out on bright color clothes adding a texture to the fabric which can be both felt and seen. The detailed designs are carefully made so that when the knots are opened, the white boxes are in harmony with each other. The bandhani here is different from the bandhani work done in Kutch. Kutchi bandhani is done with smaller dots and the motives are more intricate whereas the Vadwan bandhani is done with bigger dots and simpler motives. बांधनी सब्जेक्ट इतनो सरोस चेने के वडवाड़ नी अंदर मैन्युफैक्चरिंग चे अन्य वर्षों थी आकाम यहाँ थाई चे अमेलो को ये पचास वर्ष थी आकाम करिए चे कच्छनु जे काम बने चे ये एकदम बारी कोई चे एकदम जेने क्या वाई के पढ़े मोती ना दाना जो जिनु जिनु बंद होए अने इनु जे कार्य चे ये थोड़ो म the tie and dye work here is a good source of income generation for the women here. The women folk along with the daily household work do the tying work during the slack time and create an income of their own. This cottage industry of Vadwan thrives in the narrow lanes of town. Khandini Pod, the narrow by lanes is the main area where the tie and dye work is carried out. 
Bandhani needs a resilient base as the fabric is subjected to intricate tying and multiple rounds of dyeing. This fabric must withstand the stretching while opening unraveling knots. It is one of the most cherished and adorned textile arts. It's been a part of Gujarati culture since times immemorial and has now come to be synonymous to fashion associated with this state of India. अमारी सहकारी मंडली नाम अजंता महिला हस्तकला उद्योग छे अने आ खाली हूँ बटवान माज बांधवा आप कुछ ये हुआ ना थी हूँ तो जुबा जुना गामरा माज हूँ के बजरंगपुरा अनिंद्रा लक्तर केराला अंकेवारिया अब बद्दा काम मा हूँ थोड़ू जाजू बांधवानु मोकलो चु ये लोगों भी सुपर बांधे से अने इलोको ने उमंग के हमें बांधी ची तो हमारे क्या एक नाम आवू जो ही इतने मैं क्लस्टर करूं क्लस्टर में बदी बहनो गणियों का सही करवा आवानो टाइम होय नो होय बता एकत्र था ही शके वैला मोड़ा था इतने मैं इलोको ने एक कावन लोको ने नाम रखूं कान के इलोको तो पद आवेज शॉट का आ वधवान गम मा ऐसी टका लो तो को कारीगर से को अपनी बहनों रंगे से हवे आज सरकारी संस्था में बना भी नहीं इतने बता के तो मैं एक बार राज्य सरकार में आपो इतने राज्य सरकार में मैं सरकारी संस्था में टे बद्दी माही थी आपी अने हमें मने अवॉर्ड है बो मैन्युफैक्चरिंग हब्स कैन थ्राइव फॉर अ लॉन्ग टाइम ओनली इफ द प्रोडक्ट्स आर मार and to help the artisans with marketing needs, Gujarat State Handloom and Handicraft Development Corporation Limited, GSHHDC, markets their products through its Garvi Gurjari chain of Emporia across the country and supply to exporters, which has created its market in overseas countries. GSHHDC also organizes buyer-seller meets to facilitate B2B meetings between the buyers and artisans of Gujarat. Statewide art and crafts are displayed, showcasing the exquisite creativity and vibrant designs of the state. Vadwan produces largest amount of Bandhani materials in Gujarat. The Bandhani products of Vadwan are affordable to common people. 73% of Vadwan population is engaged in this business in one or the other way. Garvi Gurjari, the exhibition is done, so we have to make a lot of business and we have to make a retail customer and we have to do a lot of work. The Bandhani of Vadwan was so famous that other royal families of the state and country also used to buy Bandhani from Vadwan. The artistic wealth and creative diligence of region reflects in its rich color drapes. The people here have, for generations, created these beautiful pieces of art and are still striving to continue their heritage further. They have and they will preserve their legacy and pass it on to the generation next. <laughs> 